So I'm going to show you how I do this exactly once. Um, so let's say I need to take pictures of a shirt. Um, I need to take pictures of, I don't know, like 10 shirts or something, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this subindex to zero. I'm going to set it to, I don't know, like 50 or 25. I want 25 pictures of a shirt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the female model. I'm going to turn off everything else, ex uh, or I'm going to turn off the top so we don't uh, automatically give a top a uh, thing or whatever, like a, a model. Uh, we spawn the player. We go down here and we need to do actually set clothes and not set props. We're going to do player.set clothes. I think 11 is the shirt. And we're going to do sum index 0 and 0. So this is going to update the asset each individual time. And now instead of client, I can go to startup. And inside of here, there's like this one individual key up. So when I press Y, I think is the key, um, it's going to start taking screenshots. So this lets me like position the player before I take these screenshots. Um, so the current entity rotation is set to 165. We want to leave this one alone. So I'm actually just going to leave a comment here. Leave this alone. And then down in the... Let's see, we want to do shirts, right? So we're going to oh, we're going to do plus 0 0.35 or something. We kind of just want to get like a general uh, area of the shirt. And we want to use that for shirt, torso, and undershirts. Like we want to use the same settings. So if you're doing tops or whatever, you want to do all three of them if you can. Um, which is a lot of image processing to begin with. <laughs> um, Another thing is like, uh, so, oh no, wait, we want to leave this one alone. I'm sorry. This one actually needs to be, wait, why is this one? Oh no, the cat, please. No, kitty. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, hold on. Okay, so this one needs to be, we're going to reset this forward position. No, that's correct. That's correct. Okay, yeah. So we want to take this and we want to make it like 0. point. One five, I think it's for like a shirt. It's like the camera in front of the player and then how high we want it to be based on their waist position or how low we want it to be. Um, and the next thing is like we need to do it's an empty course no offset. Uh, this one. So we want to do plus zero one five. Okay. And the rotation, we just want to make sure that the rotation here so the forward position is actually what 82 5 times 2 so that should be 165 so this is going to be minus 165 here um, you'll have to play with these settings to get what you want so this is forward facing uh, and we want to make sure that the rotation here is also set to minus 165. okay perfect so we should be able to run this now so i'm going to run developer mode on this resource and we're going to take some screenshots and i'll show you what that looks like Okay, so we go in game, just like this, and then I'm going to face the camera, and then I'm going to press Y. Okay, so it's a little too zoomed in, I need to adjust FOV or whatever, but the, you know, the point is there, we know how that works, we have the screenshots, okay? So in a perfect world, all of these would be uh, correct, um, but they are not, that's okay. So now we're going to go into Photoshop. So how does this work? So on the right hand side, there's something called actions. This lets you do bulk um, image processing, to say the least. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to file, open, and we're going to actually open up screenshots. We're gonna grab this one, okay? We just need a default screenshot to work with. So we, what we wanna do is we want to perform what we want to do to this image in one go. So I'm going to click on custom here. I'm going to make a new action. I'm going to call it process shirt or something. Okay. It immediately starts recording. So what I do is it's going to take the steps that I perform here in Photoshop. So if I right click this, and I go layer from background. It's my first step. Then my next step, I need to trim it. Uh, maybe I need to do like an image crop or something. So I click on image crop here and I'm going to modify it to whatever I want to modify it to. 
We can do custom, we can do unconstrained. It, it, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna do unconstrained here. And then let's just say I just want the arms or something like that. Like this is like the length of the arms on it. And I'm gonna go top to bottom here. And once we get our cropped image set up, we'll hit enter. Probably a couple times. I can't remember how many times we do this. Yeah, so crop the image. Okay, so it's been processed for the first part. And now what we need to do is remove the green. There's multiple ways to do this. I've had a lot of luck with just the quick select tool with a 85 tolerance and anti-alias set on, and these other settings set off. Make sure contiguous or, or whatever is off. Um, but the other thing that I need to do is remove this logo down here. So hopefully when I select this, it's just gonna get rid of it for me. And it's not, that's okay. So we're just gonna hit, uh, we're gonna select the green part. Then we're gonna do modify, expand, one. This will help get rid of that green glow. And once it's expanded, we just hit delete. Now all of that's gone. And what I can do is select something down here in the bottom right, like if I have something left over. And remember, this applies to all images as well. So we know that there's a watermark there. So I'm gonna delete that watermark, deselect, go up here to file, hit save as. I'm gonna save this to the desktop as test, okay? And then I'm gonna hit stop. All right, now that I've stopped, what I can do is now batch process all of this. So I can go file, automate, batch. I'm going to select the action, which is set to custom, and it's gonna be called process shirt. It's gonna take the directory of all the screenshots, and I'm gonna set a destination directory on the desktop here. Let's make a new one. Let's just call it output. And we hit OK. And what it's going to do is it's going to override the action save as command as well as suppress these other warnings. Uh, the rest should be fine. Document name plus extension. And then if I hit OK, it's going to go through and automate each one of these individual images in Photoshop and automatically remove all of this. Now, the thing with this is that um, it's really, really, really slow for me. Um, it's mostly because I'm recording. <laughs> so I think we're processing something like 20 shirts or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just stop and just show you what some of the output looks like. So if I just go here and click on automate again, that's actually just going to let me close Photoshop. So stop. And let's go ahead and close this. And let me show you what that output looks like. So if I go over here and let me show you my desktop again. Here's the output. So it looks like we processed like three images. But this is what it looks like. And it did it to these images automatically. And that's the entire way that this entire green screen resource works. I hope it's useful for somebody out there, but it's like a big pain in the ass. So anyway, enjoy.